Next clip here, friends, we want to roll is by a, a comedian actor in the UK, London, very popular actually, by the name of Stephen Fry. And he goes on a rampage blaming God mm. for what is happening in the world. Again, it goes along with our discussion today, but I just want you to listen because these are the sentiments of many in the world today. Yeah. And that's why we have these discussions on Make It Plain, because so, so that we can be all equipped Correct. to give the everlasting gospel and to share with these people who God really is. Who God really is. Notice what Stephen Fry says here, friends. We're going to roll one of two clips. Suppose it's all true mm. and you walk up to the pearly gates and you are confronted by God. What will Stephen Fry say to him, her, or it? I will basically, what's known as theodicy, I think, I, I'll say bone cancer in children? What's that about? How dare you? How dare you create a world in which there is such misery that is not our fault? It's not right. It's utterly, utterly evil. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid God who creates a world which is so full of injustice and pain? That's what I'd say. And you think you're going to get in no, on that? No, but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to get in on his terms. They're wrong. Mm. You know, we have thousands, yea, millions of eyeballs on these uh, presentations. Joe Rogan and this person you just played. Yes, Stephen Fry. Imagine knocking on his door as we're evangelizing. Right. Imagine working where he works. Mm -hmm. Imagine being his neighbor. And we have a calling from God to evangelize. Imagine going to talk to him mm. at the car wash about the Lord. Mm. Imagine going to the park and meeting him at the park. And you want to share a literature or share a word from the Lord with him. Imagine that response. Mm. Imagine him turning around the whole thing and say, what God do you serve? Mm. Who would allow everything he just mentioned? How would I respond? Yeah. How mm. would you respond? That's why we have to make it plain. Mm. Mm. You know, yeah? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I want to begin with a particular scripture that I believe people are going to bring to us and if we don't know how to explain this particular scripture, we might be embarrassed. And that is Isaiah 45 and verse 7, where the Bible says, speaking about God, I formed light. Mm -hmm. I create darkness. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? I formed, I formed good and I create evil. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do we explain that phrase? The Bible says, God created evil. And they'll present that text to you and say, explain this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can't explain this, don't give me any literature. Don't tell me about your God because your God created evil. He must be charged as guilty for the pestilences, bone marrow in children as mm -hmm. he just uh, raised. Cancer, I mm -hmm. mean, the, the whole gamut, mm -hmm. whole spectrum of evil, atrocities, rape. Yeah. Incest. Or suffering, yep. All, All of, it. of it. Death. Wow. God created evil. How do we explain that? Number one, as you raised earlier with Ezekiel 28, my first point would be God did not create evil. Who is the instigator of evil? Mm, this is Lucifer. Sa Satan himself. So God created Lucifer, but God did not create Satan. Satan. Correct, yes. Because he was made perfect. Perfect first. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 28, as you quoted. Mm -hmm. So God did not create evil, uh, Satan, but he created Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Lucifer then chose to sin. Mm -hmm. So now what does evil mean in Isaiah 45? Mm -hmm. I create evil. What does that mean? Mm. It's so, Yes. Yeah, it's clear when you look, when you compare scripture with scripture, because this is how we arrive at Bible truth, mm -hmm. comparing one scripture with another. And as you do that and you see the word evil, what you find out is that the evil that God is speaking of, that he creates good and evil, the evil is the punishment or the reward for man's sins. Mm -hmm. Because we, everyone understands, this is a very simple concept. Every action has a consequence, mm -hmm. right? And, and we see the same principle in the Garden of Eden. Don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Otherwise, there's a consequence. Mm -hmm. What was that? They would die. Mm -hmm. um, for example, look at the book of Jonah. If you look at Jonah chapter 3, God sent Jonah to preach to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. and, and as he goes to preach to Nineveh, 
it says there that as he was preaching that he said Nineveh is going to be overthrown. Mm -hmm. In other words, they were going to die because of their sins. But notice what it says in verse number 10. After they had repented, they had turned away from their sins. It says, and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them and he did it not. So mm -hmm. what is this evil here? It was the destruction that he was going to reward them for their sins. Mm -hmm. God says, look, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Also, you have Jer um, Jer Jeremiah 26, chapter 3. Jeremiah 26 and verse 3. Let me get that right. Jeremiah 26 and verse 3, as well as verse 13. You see the same word there again, evil. That if a, if a, if a person, a nation turns away from their sin, God is not going to bring upon them the evil. What mm -hmm. is that? It's the punishment, the reward for their sin. Mm hmm Amen. I mean, I mean the word the word evil in the context, as Jared rightfully said, it means adversity, affliction, calamity, calamity, calamity. distress, mm -hmm. destruction. Yeah. But remember, that word in the Hebrew, Isaiah 45, is also seen in different scriptures in the Bible. Mm -hmm. It is brought to view in Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 6, mm -hmm. chapter 6 and verse 19 of Jeremiah, 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 9 and verse 10. Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 10 and verse 11. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 17 and verse 18. We're arming the people. Amos chapter 3 mm -hmm. and verse 6. Mm -hmm. While we compare scripture with scripture, to arrive at Bible truth, we must also remember that context is key. Mm -hmm. So in the context of Isaiah 45, I create evil, God said. What is the context? He was raising up Cyrus. Mm -hmm. To punish Babylon Destruction, because right. Babylonians were unrepentant. There it is. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's the evil. That's the calamity. That's yeah. the judgment mm -hmm. for their unrepented lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 